Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Welcome to the bedroom floor. I have a Target haul and a Dollar Tree haul, but don't worry, I didn't lose my mind, so we're not going to be sitting here for an hour, um, but I do have a few things that I want to show you guys. Uh, I just got off work, came home, changed clothes real quick, and um, get ready to go downstairs and start going through boxes that I got from my mom's house fix some dinner, do some laundry, and work some more. So, takes work to run a house, right? So anyway, um, we're gonna go ahead and start with Target. Before we get started, I'm about to make a very unpopular statement. Hang on, let me fix this. I had to fix my mini blinds, sorry. So anyway, I'm gonna make a very unpopular statement. I'm not a Target fan. What? What? What did she just say? What? Can y'all get back, please? You're messing up my jam. I'm not a big Target fan. I will take Walmart over Target any day, and I know there's probably not very many people out there that would agree with me, but I don't know what it is. I can never find anything that I need at Target. Um... Well, that's probably the main gist of it. I can never find anything I need. The only reason I went was because I had a $15 gift card. Oh, what to do? And they're waiting on treats. I had a $15 gift card and I needed a few things and so that's what happened. I'm not saying I never go to Target. I just don't usually go to Target. So, the first thing I got was this Clean Shower Daily Shower Cleaner. It's the best. I usually grab it at Walmart, but since I was there, I went ahead and picked it up. It's probably a few cents cheaper at Walmart, but um, this is the best shower cleaner in the whole entire world. Period. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. You clean your shower one good time. And then for like the next 30 days, all you got to do every time you get out of the shower is just hose it down with this. And it smells amazing, and it looks every day like you just cleaned your shower every day. And you don't have to rinse it, you don't have to scrub it, you don't have to do anything, you just spray it on there. Close the curtain or shut the door. You do it while it's wet, and it does some kind of magic with the humidity and the water. And as soon as you get out of the shower, while your bathroom and your shower and everything is still warm, you know, from your hot shower, it does some kind of miracle science. And it leaves your shower shiny and clean and like nobody's ever even been in it. No drying, no scrubbing, no rubbing, no nothing. I should be their spokesperson. The next thing I picked up. Yes, I know you're waiting. Um, is this, I've been wanting to try this the last few times I went into Target. But I never pick it up. It's Everspring Down to Earth Solutions. Well, it's an all-purpose cleaner. And this is in Citrus. Um, no, it's not. It's in mandarin and ginger. And that went straight on my carpet, but whatever. Oh, that smells good. That smells good. Are you waiting? You're waiting. He's waiting patiently. Anyway, it's a multi-purpose cleaner, and um, I thought I'd give it a try. Mandarin and ginger. Uh, the next thing I picked up was my hairspray, Herbal Essence, um, Body Envy Volumizing Hairspray by Herbal Essence. Love this stuff and it smells amazing. The next thing I picked up was um, Aussie's Miracle Moist Shampoo. It's got avocado and yojoba oil. Yo-yo, yojoba, jojoba, jojoba <laughs> oil. There's that. And then I got the three minute miracle conditioner that goes with it. Um, and the last thing I picked up was Saint Ives Soft Skin Avocado and Honey Scrub for your face. I love Saint Ives. Ap I can't even talk. I love Saint Ives Apricot Scrub, and I thought I'd try this one, Avocado and Honey Scrub. So we're staying on the avocado bandwagon. Um, with our shampoo and conditioner. So this all stays up here. This goes downstairs. Nope, this stays up here. This goes down. Hold on, I'm getting my life together. There's that. 
downstairs. Okay, also at Target, I picked up this big old deal of bounding paper towels. Um, six rolls equals eight rolls. Six big rolls. I don't know how big they are. They look like normal rolls to me, but whatever. You know people and their marketing ploys. Okay, let's move on to the Dollar Tree. The one dollar holla. Okay, the first thing I picked up is a lighter. We all need these. I lose them. They either run out or I lose them. I picked up a tuna salad star kiss ranch kit for lunch. The next thing I picked up was a Thai Hum Mali jasmine rice authentic steam rice. Um, you just pop it in the microwave. It's done in 90 seconds. I love jasmine rice. Um, and I was like, snag. So if this is good, I'm going to go back and get a lot. I'm going to get many of them. Let's see. I picked up. Okay, they had perfect size for one. The um, chocolate decadent brownie. Um, Duncan Hines brownie in a mug. Look how big this box is. Ten packs for a dollar. And this has little chocolate chips in it. So if you're having a chocolate fit, you just pop one of these bad boys in the microwave. There's that. I picked up my little um, B12, Stacker B12 shots. I love these. I grabbed four of them. Pick those up. I'll probably give a couple to Mindy, my partner. Um, I gave her one to try and she loved it. Um, there's that. I picked up this Spring on Color Workshop. I'm getting a headache because I don't have my glasses on. And this was so cute. I've never seen these at the Dollar Tree. Um, but it's a little lipstick. Um, it doesn't tell me what color. But isn't that cute? The packaging is adorable. And it's not a lip balm. It says lipstick. Let's open it. God, I can see a whole lot better with my glasses. Look, isn't that cute? So cute. What is that, Chips? It's a moisturizing lipstick, and it does not give me a color. And that's it. That's what color it is. Isn't that pretty? I think it'll go good with my skin tone. So I'm excited to try that. And there's that. Then I got these three little hair clippies. I love these. Um, I got the bigger size, and they work so well with my hair, I decided to go ahead and grab three little ones. A pack of three little ones. Um, I also grabbed the Bolero bath fizzers. They're like bath bombs, but they're square. So I got one in hibiscus clay and one in coconut and rose oil. You can't. I was going to do a thumbnail, but the lighting is horrible. So. And cut. <laughs> okay, there's that mess. So this stays up here. This stays down here. Downstairs, stays, stays, stays. Yeah. I've got you guys a goodie. I mean, they are just having a come apart over here. Okay, there's that. Let's go into here so I can get these boys. Of, I don't have any dog treats, but I have something they can try, and I want to try it too. Um, they had Nature's Own 100% whole grain bread, so I got a loaf of that. I got some stacked sour cream and onion. Okay, let's try one of these. Okay, I got some imported Italian savory crackers, crostinis, crostinis, and they had them in, and they're oven baked. They had them in traditional, and then they had them in rosemary, so whatever that means. Oh, you want to taste one? So this is what you get. I pulled the bag out of the box, and of course, it's, it's mostly air. What was that, kid? Look at them. Look at them. Oh my gosh. Okay, sit, chill. Tell me what you think, boys. They gotta go over there and. Okay, let me try it. Okay? They're stale as hell. Stale as hell. Well, don't buy those. Feed them to your dogs. I can't. No, do not. Right out. No thanks. Ugh. 
Oh, don't worry. I'll put them in a baggie and save them for y'all because Mama don't want them, that's for sure. I don't want them. Okay, back. Boundaries. 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 I know. I love you. Have you not had dinner yet? Has Daddy not fed you yet? Because dang. Okay, last bag. Last bag. Here is another Star Kiss Tuna Salad in Ranch. I guess I grabbed two of those. Put that in there. I got these for my lunch, these cheese it Grooves. They come in a three-pack in um, sharp white cheddar. These are delish. Love those. I got two packages of the spring rolls because they're the best. You guys, these are so freaking good. I have to hide them from my kids. Otherwise, I won't get any. So, like, I'll make these for dinner one night. But if I don't hide them and save them for a dinner, they'll be gone and I won't get to make them. I mean, I'm like, hold the phone. I want some, too. Got those. Then they have these Twinkie knockoffs. Craving sponges, cream-filled sponge cake in golden. So, it's like a, a Twinkie knockoff. And then they have them in chocolate. So, Yay. Here's a thumbnail. Got those. You did, look, hey. Right on. We were both wanting chocolate last night. And we didn't have anything. And we were sitting on the couch watching The Bachelorette. And I was like, I need some chocolate. He's like, me too. Why don't you go to the store and get some? I said, why don't you go to the store and get some? Did you say that? Did too? You told me to go to the store. I didn't tell you to go to the store, but you didn't tell me to go to the store. Oh, I guess I'm just telling lies then. Yes, I said you go. I know you. And we both said no, so I then know, we made nachos instead. I know you didn't say that because I was expecting you to say that. What did I say then? I don't remember, but you didn't say you go to the store. Because it's important. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Oh, you should try these crackers. They're good. What crackers? Crostini. They're so good. Anyway, ignore. Ignore me? Shut up, kids. <laughs> You're kind of bland. <laughs> They're you, the worst crackers I ever you had. Did you purpose? Yeah. Oh, you sneaky little thing. It was jokes. Oh. Did you tell the world what you think of those nasty crackers? You know what it tastes like? It tastes like a dried pasta noodle. It doesn't it taste stale like a dry a dried pasta noodle. That's exactly what it tastes like. Anyway, my version of the story. What is that? I got a text message. Anyway, my version of the story that he wanted to argue with me about is the correct version. Ain't that right? First world problems. Anyway, no big deal. Um, I'm going to get off here. Go argue with him about something. Make some dinner. And uh, work on this house and do some laundry. Okay, thanks for hanging out with me. I love you guys. The Lord loves you more. And uh, we'll catch you. Catch you later. Tell, tell everybody bye. Tell them all bye. Oh, as soon as I want them on the camera, they split. Oh, look how he lays his puppy butt. Chips. Kips. Kips. Roscoe. See? Okay. Did you see that? I can say Kips, Kips, Kips all day long and he'll ignore me. But if I say Roscoe, he'll turn around because he's afraid I'm going to give Roscoe love and not him and he gets jealous and he can't handle it. It's not because he thinks his name is Roscoe. It's because he's jealous, aren't you? Yeah. Roscoe just sits in the background. Come here, Ross. He's this sweet little patient one. Um, Kips is not. He's a jealous one. Okay. Love y'all. Jesus loves you more. He, he does. He does. He does. He does. And we'll see you later.